How's it going gang? It's a final render here and welcome back to Fallout 4 Vanilla Survival Part 10 this video. We finally made it everyone. We made it into the double digits for this series. Oh, it's been a long time, isn't it? But I'm really happy the way this series is going and people seem to be enjoying it. So, what are we going to be doing today, people? Well, if you watched the last episode, you should know what we're doing today. But we're going to head over to the Sunshine Trading Co. Because Pam, over in the railroad, asked us to clear out that settlement and then get it set up. And then she will give us the schematic for Ballistic Weave, which is a really, really big deal, that is. Massive armor improvement from here on out once we get Ballistic Weave. And also, with that being done, I think it's time. Do you know what time? I think it is time we go and rescue Nick Valentine. I've been saying for months, weeks even, we'll go rescue Nick soon. We'll go rescue Nick soon. You know, we just got to do this one thing first and then we'll go rescue Nick. But you know what? The time has come. The time has come that we're actually going to go and do it. Because once we've got the Ballistic Weave, we will have a lot more resistance. And we've also got the Overseer Guardian. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Tell you the truth, we've probably over-prepared. So let's do it. Oh dear, we've got a big battle going off around this corner as well. What's going on here? Oh yes, the servo mechs and the swarm bots. I accidentally triggered, well I say accidentally, I triggered Automatron last stream, didn't I? Last video. Oh dear. Yeah, I triggered it because I just saw them fighting in the distance and thought I might as well take some pot shots. Yeah, if you take a pot shot, any of those robots... It triggers the entire DLC. So now a lot of the random encounters are going to be much harder. Because they're going to be rust devils and stuff like that. Yeah, it was probably a mistake on my part to do that. But hey, you know, we will get XP and stuff like that by fighting tougher enemies, won't we? So yeah, let's be very careful here on out. Oh, hello. How's it going, lads? You alright? Let's go and farm up a crit with these ferals, shall we? We got ourselves a deliverer pistol here, so we should be able to get some critical damage in. And if not, we can dispatch them really quickly. Because this thing is super rapid fire. Really good for, like, melee enemies charging at you, the deliverer. Oh, there's two of them there. Hello, lads. If I can actually hit a damn thing, that's for sure. There we go, get him in the chest a couple times. There we go. Oh, good boy, dog meat. See, these guys weren't so tough, really. I mean, we're kind of at that stage where now things like ferals, for the most part, we don't really need to be worried about them. It's only if they kind of catch us off guard that we've got to be careful. But then again, they can do that quite easily, can't they? And of course, people, last time we had a video on Fallout 4 Vanilla Survival, we had the trailer for Fallout 76 Permadeath at the start of that video. And you know what? The first episode of Fallout 76 Permadeath has gone out. It goes out every Sunday, and you guys loved it. I was so happy. That people really enjoyed that challenge, you know, playing all of Fallout 76 without dying. It's definitely going to be a challenge. I have no idea if we'll beat the challenge, but I've actually got two months worth of videos recorded for that series. So eight videos I have recorded for Fallout 76 Permadeath, and we haven't died yet. So why don't you come and check in on this channel on Sundays at 8.30 BST, where there will be an episode of Fallout 76 Permadeath waiting for you. In fact... If you're a level 2 member of the channel, you can actually see episode 2 right now. That is available for you to go and see right now if you're a second level member of the Final Render channel. And I'm really happy you guys enjoyed it. Because I had this idea in my head for Fallout 76 Permadeath. I was thinking, is it even possible? And you know what? I think it is. There's still a long way to go with the challenge, of course. Very long way. But I'm really enjoying it. So thanks to everyone who tuned into that video. And I can't wait to see some new people who are watching this video in episode 2. It's going to be great. Here we are then, people, the Sunshine Trading Co. Sunshine Trading Co. is one of my favourite settlements inside Fallout 4. It's a really big space, it's got lots of pre-made buildings, and it's just a really cool settlement, you know. There's definitely a lot you can do with it. We do have to actually clear out some bad guys here before we can claim the settlement. There's a bunch of rad roaches and also some ferals, but once we clear those guys out, then we can claim the settlement for ourselves, and it'll be mission complete. Looking like we've got a couple bad guys in here. Alright, so yeet. Yeet. Yep, these guys not really a problem for us right now. Plenty of ferals around here that will jump up and try to bite you on the bum bum, so be very careful. I'll take that psycho there, why not? That'll be good. An important thing with this place as well is you've got to remember there is a very important magazine here. I almost forgot about it actually when I was just exploring around. It is somewhere around here. There it is, right there. The Wasteland Survival Guide. Hunting in the wastes. Permanently collect extra meat from your kills. Now that's actually a really nice thing, because some of the enemies don't actually drop meat often, because there's only a rare chance, but with that magazine, pretty much every kind of wild animal you kill will drop some kind of meat. And that's really good for survival mode, because obviously we need to eat and stuff like that. 
Even better if you're doing, like, say, a YOLO run to where you can only eat cooked meat. Right, that should be everyone cleared out now. And then we can just go and set up a settlement. Pretty good, right? There we go. We've secured the workshop. It says we need to build defenses for this objective. Well, that's kind of an annoying one, isn't it? That's a very annoying one, in fact. Because that means we'll need settlers and stuff like that. Yeah, so we'll have to rethink this. We may need to get a supply line here before we actually, <laughs> before we actually complete the objective. Hello, mate. Are you going to wake up? Nope, not anymore, that's for sure. Where's the nearest settlement which has supply lines? Abernathy Farm. There's only three people at Abernathy. There's ten at Starlight Drive-In. So uh, why don't we make the walk over to Starlight Drive-In, set up a little caravan over to here, and then we can complete the objective to build this thing. But my god, how annoying that is. Hmm. This isn't quite right. A Brahmin. 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 Calm down. Brahmin. Stop it. Oh, you silly moo. Starlight Drive in there. Ah, oh, what a lovely settlement. Lots of open space, lots of building potential and stuff here. But all we want is to grab one of the random settlers who doesn't have a job, such as you. You're going to go and be a settler. Well, you're already a settler. You're going to go and make a caravan to the Sunshine Trading Co. Please, there's a Brahmin over in the uh, Drumlin Diner if you need one. Hmm. Okay, well now that's done, we should have our supply routes connected up. Indeed we do. So now let's just walk all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> and complete the objective. See, this is where survival mode gets a little bit tedious. Just the constant going back and forth. But, you know, once the Brotherhood get here, we can get the Vertebrae grenades, and then, then we can go into the Institute and get the teleports in as well, and everything becomes much easier once you get those two things unlocked. Superb. We're back then. So, now we've got that connected up, we should have some extra resources and stuff, correct? Indeed we do. We can now build defenses and stuff. Let's go and build some turrets. Maybe... Ooh, where should we have them? Let's have them over this way, because we might actually do some planting and stuff on this side of the building. There's some pre-planted sections already here. So do that, and then grab another one as well. That's two level one turrets right there. Please let me place it. Oh, sir. Oh, please, sir. Be kind. There we go. Two turrets on the roof, so people can't go and melee those right there. And that's actually all we need to do. Oh, okay. We just need to get the defenses up. Do we have any food and stuff we can plant here now and get, like, the recon beacon and stuff? We've got some gourds. Oh, yeah, we've got loads of mute fruit. Absolutely loads of it. Metric tons of mute fruit right there. Let's go and plant some of this and see if we can actually get a recruitment beacon set up. Then this place can actually be a decent settlement, not just, you know, a little outpost for the railroad. So there's nine food there. That's pretty much all we want. You know, if we're only going to have ten defense, we want that. And, uh, ooh... Yeah, we need some gears in order to build a water pump. But only one water pump we can build. Oh dear, that's a problem. Uh, let's see if we can just build a powered water pump then. This will give us ten. Mm, that means our water will go over our defense a little bit, won't it? And we'll also need a generator for it. Oh, isn't that fun, people? And we cannot build generators. Ah! You know what, then? We'll leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. And then one day we'll come back and this can be a decent settlement. We'll give it a, um, a radio beacon, though. And then next time when we're here, hopefully we'll have the resources to build a generator and get those things up and running, you know? Right, let's get back to the railroad over in the city. Now, it's going to be a really long journey to go back to Hangman's Alley. We've got to go all the way back from the Sunshine Trading Co. All the way back to where we started at Hangman's Alley, then all the way along the south side of the river. Uh, we might actually stop off at Hangman's Alley so we can save the game there before going back, maybe. I don't know. Now nah, we'll leave it. We'll do it all in one go. Famous last words, I'm sure. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, hello. We got Car Henge over there. There's often a behemoth in there. There is. There's a behemoth right there. Ooh, we are not going near that, dude. Absolutely not. We're not anywhere near ready to deal with something like that. Ooh, boy. It's it's cool, though. I love the idea that, you know, the uh, behemoth has made a little home amongst Car Henge. Pretty fun overall. But he's scary, so let's avoid him. Oh, we do have the... Uh... The crashed alien spaceship here, I suppose, actually. Uh, where is it? Yeah, right there. There's the old spaceship. I suppose we could go and kill the alien. You know, he's over in this cave over here. I mean, why not, right? We might as well. XP and all that. Go on, then. We'll give it a go. Alien? There he is. Oh, poor Elvis. Sorry, mate. Okay, but yeah, this is a, a Zayton, actually, in Fallout 4. Pretty cool that these guys are still in here. He's got the alien blaster. Which is actually completely worthless in this game. Unfortunately, you know, in Fallout 3, the alien stuff with the Zeta DLC was really, really cool. In fact, this ham radio here, 
Is it actually working? Oh no, sometimes it gives you like a garbled radio frequency whenever the alien lands, but maybe because I've already entered. You know, it's already turned it off. But yeah, there's like a radio signal in Zayton language that is calling for help. But no, alien dead. Good stuff. All right, okay, we'll go back to Hangman's Alley for a moment because I realize I actually have no purified water at all. I seem to always forget <laughs> to pick up water before I go on long journeys. But if we're going to go and rescue Nick, we should definitely take some water with us. All right, so I think it's because I can always just top off my water whenever I come in here. But I always forget to get some out, don't I? There's only two in there, really? Uh, well, okay, we'll top off our water this way. Hopefully we'll find some of the railroad HQ. Oh, hello. Oh, we got a raider right there. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get him quickly before we... Oh, just lost him. Oh, dear. Uh, this is... That's the only enemy I've seen <laughs> for quite a while. And it sounds like there's more this way as well. Hello, lads. All right, let's get you in the chest. Nice. I'll alert the one which just walked past us. Ah, there he is. Yeet. Easy XP. Okay, by the look of it, we don't have a level up for when we get back to the railroad, which is a shame because then we could have used that level up immediately on getting Ballistic Weave, which would have been really cool to go rescue Nick Valentine with that Ballistic Weave on, but eh, it's really not the end of days. You know, we'll be fine, I suppose. We're OP enough as it is now. The only thing that's going to be difficult is the main entrance to get into the vault. After that, you know, it's actually pretty easy once you're in the vault because you've got Nick Valentine with you and Dogme with you. And, you know, it's just all fun and killing games and stuff like that. You know, fun killing games. Oh, hello, Super Mutant. I've gone the completely wrong way as well, haven't I? This is not how you get to the old North Church. Well, the mutant's dead. Where's this doggy? He had a friend dog. There he is. Friend dog. No, friend. Be nice, dog. Woo! <laughs> get back in the car. Get in the car. No, no, no. Silly doggo. All right, there you go. You see, dog meat. That was a bad doggo. You're a good doggo. Everyone loves you, dog meat. Here we go then, the Railroad HQ, we made it. That's a, quite an annoying trek, if I'm entirely honest. But as I said, you know, pretty soon we'll be able to get the vertebra grenades of a teleport and stuff like that. It'll be much easier from that point on. Tom needs you. Oh, hey, Garrus. Yeah, Tom needs me, does it? Well, I actually do need to talk to Tom anyway, because I'm going to hopefully sell him that alien blaster. Surely he'll love that, right? But here we go, Pam. Job done. Human machine interface to 100%. Good evening. Agent, my data indicates Mercer's safe house has been established. I have the location. There we go. So we've got 200 caps for that and nearly, nearly enough XP to be able to level up. Oh, well, not quite enough. Let's just accept her next mission just so we've got it. Okay, jackpot, ruined skyscraper, secure the DIA cash. Wait. Is that what we need to do in order to get the Ballistic Weave? Or does Tom give it to us? Oh, I completely forget now. Okay, you know what then? I think we don't have Ballistic Weave now. I think we've got to do that other mission for for Pam to get that. Yeah, by the look of it, we don't have it. Or the one for um Tinker Tom. Well, you know what? We're getting there. We're getting there. You know, she did give us the RFID card thing. That might be the mission which needs it. But Tom, would you like to buy an Alien Blaster? I promise you, it's a genuine alien blaster. Okay. I mean, he's probably going to sell that as an alien blaster, and people are going to say, don't be so stupid, Tom, it's not an alien blaster. I could sell him back his own gun. I mean, that would be an idea. I mean, I'm not going to use it anymore, right? Yeah, alien blaster. Oh, he doesn't have enough caps for that. He's not rich enough. I'll sell you back your own gun, though. You know, now I've taken the mods off of it that I want. <laughs> Is that bad? It's kind of bad. But hey, you know, what's he going to do about it? Absolutely nothing. I'll see if I can also buy some extra ammo. 45, I'm doing okay for. 308, he doesn't even have. How much 45 ammo do I have? I want to take a lot of ammo ready for um dealing with the vault. Uh, yeah, we could use a little more, I suppose. Oh, actually, no. The vault's full of trap, full of um, triggermen, isn't it? They all have 45 submachine guns. Uh, I'll be fine for ammo, actually. I don't need that. Okay, uh, yeah, so just have your gun back, Tinker Tom. That's yours. I'll sell you all the rest of my ammo as well. Let's do it then. Let's uh, go to sleep here in the Railroad HQ. Then we've actually saved the game. Once we've done that, it's time to rescue Nick Valentine. I'm really looking forward to this, actually. It's a really big deal for the main story. Uh, any of these, this one is not owned. Okay, so let's sleep for seven hours or so. Uh, it's, it is a mattress, so I might not be able to sleep on this for seven hours. I might only be able to do three hours, you know, a quick power nap. 
Oh no, okay, I could do. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, I can only do five hours. I thought it was. I thought it was three hours. Oh well, is what it is. So we're a little thirsty. So let's drink some water and then head over to go rescue Nick. It's about time. Oh, we found the mass fusion building right here. Oh, and looking like they found me already, these gunners. Okay, let's uh, see if we can drop these guys before too much trouble occurs. Shot right there. And also, do I have anything to in increase my AP? Oh, we could just jet it, I suppose. Yeah, let's jet it. Miss. Hit. 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 Okay, sloppy, but I got the job done. Excellent, and we got to level up. Fantastic. Right, um, so I was thinking about this, and I was thinking, oh, I should go for sneak because there's floor-based traps and stuff when we go rescue Nick, or rifleman, you know, some extra rifleman damage would be really good, especially since rank 2 gets you 15% armor penetration. But you know what? As we mentioned before, I might be an idea to get armor now, because if I can just look up again how to get the Ballistic Weave, I think we need to do that mission for Pal again. And then we can go and get the Ballistic Weave, and we need at least rank 1 of armor to do that. And honestly, it is worth it. It is worth it. I should have got armor weeks ago, if I'm entirely honest. Armor is a very vital perk in these runs. Oh, so we've got Good Neighbor over here. Have I discovered Good Neighbor? Have I? I don't think I have. I haven't discovered Good Neighbor yet. Wow. Okay, let's head on inside just so we get it on the map. Hey, hold up there. Hello, First Finn. time and good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Can't go walking around without insurance. I don't need insurance. That. I got a or dog. You're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. Yeah, you your little, your little your wimp. Paid up for now, okay? How about I just shoot you in the head anyway, huh? And then in the heart. <laughs> just so Hancock likes me. <clears throat> <laughs> I like you already. Told you. Walk into a new place, make a show of dominance. Nice. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. Of the people, feel for me. the people. Everyone's welcome. I yeah, feel you. I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So there we go. Thanks very much, Hancock. We got Fahrenheit with a resting angry face right there. But yeah, so we've discovered good neighbor now. That's nice. Let's get out of here. Oh, actually. These merchants, can they buy the alien blaster? Surely Kilo can. Here we go then. So she, again, doesn't have much. But she does have some nice armor pieces. Yeah, the Devastator stuff. Actually, that's not as good as I remember. Huh. Never mind then. I honestly thought she had much better stuff than that. But, you know, she does have a good supply of ammo and stuff. And the party style is fun, I suppose. But it's not a very good weapon. Oh, but she does have oil. We were talking about how we really needed oil. Shipments of oil and ballistic fiber as well. Ooh. We might just use this as an opportunity to invest. Let's get the ballistic fiber. Sell her the alien pistol. There we go. And also all the alien ammo. Sell all the alien ammo. I thought, what if I sell the gun to Kilo and then sell the ammo to someone else? And then, you know, there will be someone who eventually buys that gun who will search the entire Commonwealth looking for the one trader who has alien blaster ammo. Now, there we go. She can have that right there. And should we get the oil as well? I mean, we do need it, I think. <sighs> yeah, go on then. How expensive is that going to be? Oh, only 500 for both of them, actually. That's not as bad as I thought. So we're able to get a couple more caps out of her. So we're getting the ballistic fiber and also the oil shipments for 425 caps. You know what? That's actually worth it. Because we will genuinely really use all of those materials, especially the oil for making our guns and stuff. So that's genuinely a good trade. Glad I came here. There we go. I've just listened to one of the Google answers about how to get Ballistic Weave, and yes, I do need to do that mission with the RFID card. But, as I'm leaving Good Neighbor, a legendary super mutant turns up. Oh, isn't that fun. Alright, uh, can I just pop him in the brain hole right there? There we go. Just get him dead. I'm not interested in having a gunfight with this dude. What did he have, though, I wonder? If he's got something really good, I'm going... They're falling from the ceiling! Oh boy, we got a cripple there. Didn't actually hurt too much, but let's not have a crippled head. That would be a bad idea. Get him, doggo. Great stuff. So now, what do I want? I want to see plasma-infused minigun on this guy. Duelist leather leg. Oh, that's really lame. Uh, 
Okay. That's looking pretty good on the old super mutant front. Let's go and have a um have a quantum. Get my health back right there. Honestly, the quantums are great. They heal you so much quicker than the stim packs and stuff do. Hello, mate. Woo! Alright, so we're cautioned now. We're probably fine at this stage. Excellent. So a little little ambush attack right there while I was listening to Google telling me stuff. Not bad, not bad. I mean shame about the legendary. But then again. It was a legendary leg, wasn't it? A right leg. I think both my legs are just regular. Yeah, so we might as well wear it, I guess. I mean, it's really not very good, but we might as well, considering I've just got normal leather on the other leg. Okay, I'll take it. Ooh, keep out. <laughs> Here's Boston Common. But of course, why do we want to keep out? Well, there's our good old buddy Swan over here, isn't there? Yep, there he is. Good old Swan. Uh, we're obviously not going to be killing Swan this instant. Uh, but I do believe, actually, that if we go into here, there is a magazine, I want to say. Do I have a hazmat suit? I don't have a hazmat suit. Okay, uh, let's just take some Radex then. I'll take two sets. I believe it stacks. I believe there is a magazine in here. I might be completely wrong. Oh, no, there it is right there. Please hurry up. Yeah, Grognak one. Okay, it's not really good for our character, but we might as well grab it right, even if we just sell the magazine. It turns out, actually, um, Swan's in the Institute, or was in the Institute, which is quite an interesting bit of fact that... I don't think a lot of people know. I only found out about it the other day. But yeah, if you talk to Swan and stuff, well, say talk to Swan, you can talk to Virgil about him and stuff like that. And yeah, I believe Swan was a man who was being experimented on by the Institute. And then he eventually just got too big and had to leave, you know? Essentially. Pretty cool, right? So here we go. This is when we go rescue Nick Valentine, people. It's been a long-ass time. Very long ass, you know? But we're hopefully going to beat it in one shot because we haven't saved since we were in the Railroad HQ. <laughs> so we kind of got to do it in one go, haven't we? We're going to try to be stealthy throughout this. We're going to try to not get seen, which means not relying on the Overseer Guardian as much and using this here sniper and the Deliverer. So there's a dude right there. Excellent. He's dead. Now let's back off a bit here. I'm going to try to treat this as if... Dog, get out of the way. I'm going to treat this as if I've only got one shot. So I cannot miss my chance to blow. Right. You can see there was another Triggerman in there. You can see his little feet down there. And there's one. Oh, I'm not taking that shot. I mean, I probably could have got him. But let's not. You know, let's get a more obvious, definite shot. Oh, I want to shoot him. I want to shoot him in the knob right there. That would have killed him instantly. Right, we're hidden. So now let's get down there before he gets too far away. There he is. Okay. Uh, let's go for a headshot. I'll risk it. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. That was a one in two chance right there. We might actually level up in here as well. There's a lot of bad guys in this section. Just waiting for the bars to go wide. Oh, hello, mate. Ooh, oh dear. Okay. Let's get this side so we'll have a better shot on the dude if he pokes his head around again like that. Caution, you still get sneak attack if you hit them. You don't have to be hidden to get a sneak attack. You just can't be in danger. Alright, almost good and hidden though. I mean, he's starting to go to the back of the room now. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, hello. Come on, show me your face. I want to see that pretty old face. 36% chance with a that shot. I'd rather take a manual at those odds. He's in that room, I think, isn't he? Stop we'll make nice. The only other thing I could do is send dog meat in, which will alert them, and then I can shoot them while they're fighting dog meat. That's generally not a bad idea, actually. But, uh... That's one off the list. Right, Ran he's in. The only problem with playing this way as well is that you don't really know which yeah. enemies you've killed. Oh, hello! Well, I've been found now, haven't I? Really? Those were 95% chance hot shots, and only two of them hit. Alright. Yeah, alright, so Dogmeat's having a fight with them. He's dead. And here's the last guy. Oof! Did you see those reflexes right there? Right in the brain hole. Okay. I've noticed right there that that sniper rifle, not very good when we're not actually in vats and stuff or getting a sneak attack. Yeah, I definitely think we should spend more points on riflemen sooner rather than later. Because I hit that guy with this here sniper rifle twice, and it really didn't do much damage. Not much damage at all. 
Okay, now I believe there's some trapped rooms up in here, but it's always good because you can get like some extra grenades and stuff and some XP. Oh, there we go, right there. See if there's a little uh, tension trigger on the door. Do that, open it up, and there is a grenade bouquet. Go grab that, free grenade, and some XP. Bravissima. But also, around here, where we actually go, there is a couple traps just sitting on the floor, aren't there? Oh, there is a bed here, actually. We could have a quick nap here, quick power nap. And then if we die, you know, we, we're back here. But now nah, let's just uh, keep going. Try to keep the what little adrenaline we've got. How much adrenaline do we have, I wonder? Probably not much at all, right? Yeah, only two ranks. But hey, that's 10% extra damage. Disable that bathroom scale. And disable that bomb. Now, this is the big one. There's maybe six, possibly seven bad guys in this next room. But we do have a nice way to retreat on these stairs back here. There's one. Right, he's dead. Out of my way, dog. Come on, doge. Oh, and here comes one. He's legendary as well. Okay, I do have a crit, so let's drop him. Cool, cool. And now just wait a little bit for them to wander off and stuff. Hopefully they don't loot that legendary. If they loot that legendary and take whatever legendary thing he's got, I'll be annoyed. Because then i got to search everybody down there for whatever legendary he had. Alright, so it won't take long for them to lose interest. This might be better, actually, if they come up the stairs. And they can shoot them in the back of the head as they're running away. Alright, so... Yep, yeah, there he is. Again, manual shot quickly. Nice, there we go. Reflexes like a Khajiit. So, anyone else turning up immediately? There's one right there. Two of them, even. Ooh, okay. Back off a little bit. And we're hidden. Ooh. Got him. Only just got him. Oh, that was close. I nearly missed that shot right there. Shot him right in the ear, I think. Maybe, like, right there on the cheek. That'll do it. I know I'm being very cautious right now, but I really don't want to die. You know what I mean? I think it's because I've been playing Fallout 76 Permadeath, to where if I die, it's over. So I've got this mindset in my head of being ultra, ultra careful. I mean, that's the way you should play, really, isn't it? Okay, so he's hidden. We don't have any crits saved up either. We must remember that. This is a lucky hunting rifle. So it gets extra critical damage. But we don't have any crits saved up. This next guy might be the last guy. Oh. Okay, let's not mess this up. Because we've nearly got through this damage free. And that'll be pretty sweet. He's definitely on that side, which is awkward. I can't really get a shot. Let's just stay here then. Could also farm up a deliverer shot. Right, he's going to go back to his initial place. Come on, dude. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, he's not. Okay, this is a problem. I don't like it when enemies don't go... Ah, there he is. He's at the back of those blue containers, isn't he? Excellent. There we go. And we're hidden, so that's all of them dead. Brilliant stuff. Right, that went really well. Let's loot this legendary. What do you have? An unyielding synth chest piece. Ooh, ooh, mamma mia, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, uh, out of curiosity, I'm wondering, is that better than our Wastelander chest piece? It'll definitely be worth it in terms of um, resistance because this one is 14 and 17, whereas this one is 13 and 22, you know, unmodded. So... Yeah, you know, with a little bit of mods, this unyielding synth chest piece will be better. But what does it do in terms of our special? We haven't taken much damage at all right now. So 4, 7, 3, 6, 5, 10, yada, yada, yada. Let's put this on. 4, 6, 3, 6, 5, 9. Okay, so there's a little bit of difference. But I think I might just keep this on anyway. Because one, it's a better chest piece. And also, frankly, it's unyielding, you know? Unyielding's good. And in this game, Unyielding affected your endurance. Crazy to think that, right? Nice long shot in the back of the head right there. I mean, I might be wrong. It might be better to keep the Wastelander one, seeing as I have currently full health. But hey, you know, maybe I'll deliberately go a little bit lower health. I don't know. Every second you hide, 
Oh, hello. He's blind firing. Oh, he's attacking the dog now. All right, uh, let's see if we can actually bank up some deliverer shots here. See if we can get a critical go in. So he doesn't know me yet. Say so he doesn't know me. One in one chance out of ten to hit any of these shots. But if we hit him, then we can get criticals banked up, right? I'll oh, forget. Let's just run up to him. There we go. Ninety-five percent chance shots now. Right there's a crit banked up. Excellent. Now we can use that critical when we really need it in the next section, most likely. Sweet. And uh, what's happened to my specials now? Uh, yeah, they appear to be... Are they going up? Did I even put it on? Yeah, unyielded. Plus three to all stats when you... Oh no, I'm a moron. It's only when you're at less than 25. Oh, okay. I thought it gradually increased them as time went on. But now in this case, it's only... When you're at 25. Okay, well in that case then, I might just go back to this one. Sorry about that for getting excited and stuff like that over the unyielding. If it's only when you're under 25, we're probably not going to use that really. I mean, it is just as powerful in this as it is in, say, Fallout 76. In fact, more so. Much more so. Because it even affects endurance. Alright, so we've got three bad guys up ahead now, I believe. Yep. There's one... Can I get a second one before... Oh, don't think so. Will they come this far, though? Missed him. Okay, that's, that was a fluke. So I missed that shot, so now they're just blind firing to where the second shot came from. That's how the stealth works. It's generally quite clever. It's like First shot, they're looking for you. Second shot, they're just shooting in your general direction. Because they've kind of got a rough idea where you are. Third shot, though, then they'll pretty much work out where you are. It's called triangulation, and it works in real life. Okay, so and also these guys have 45 bullets. I need to remember to actually loot these guys. I've got 10 mils and 45s. Ooh, water. Alright, he's over there. Stay still. Nice, he's dead. So yeah, you get the sneak attack, then this thing will definitely drop him. But without it, we're going to need more ranks of riflemen. Oh, he's right there. That's a really hard shot, even if he stays still. Let's give it a go. Perfect. Oof. I am the sniper. I am the American sniper. It's like that movie, isn't it? There we go. So we had some 45 and some caps. All very well and good. Oh, he was legendary. But he didn't have a legendary thing. Oh, that's lame. Come on. It says legendary, but he doesn't have any... Ooh, bags of cement. But he doesn't actually have anything legendary on him. That's totally lame. And uh, where's the other one? There was three of them, weren't there? Yeah, well, never mind. Forget it. Hey, dog meat. There's a load of bags of cement over here. I would like to take this. These are real heavy, though. Oh, well, I can actually carry it. Oh, only just. Only just. Hey, dog meat. You want to carry some cement? Come on, because you're a good doggo. And good doggos carry cement for their owners, don't they? Yeah, eight pounds each, those things right there. Oh, yeah, you can't carry anymore. Uh, yeah, dog meat actually doesn't have that good a carry capacity. But I think this might be a bug here. If you take all the stuff off of him... And then reattach his bandana and stuff. Sometimes it forgets how much carry weight he's supposed to have. I'm just testing this now because I don't know if this is true. But let's just go and test it. Not for the sake of cheating, just for the sake to see is this actually true? I, I seem to read up on this a while ago. There you go. Yeah, he gets much more carry weight if you do that. Interesting. Good to know, good to know. I mean, Dogby really should have more carry weight anyway. Anyways, whatever. Good to go. Let's see if we can get into this vault then. So, yeah, this is the vault that was never actually used and even never intended to be used. It was there just because they had the workforce ready to go and they needed to build something. It's like, we'll have to lay off our staff if, you know, we don't build something. So, let's just build a vault, even if we never use it. Seems like a waste of money, but that's how things work. Really? 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 Oh, great. Come on, dog me. Go get the dude. Yeah, there's two there. One's got a melee. And one's got a gun. I think I shot dog me more than I shot those guys there. Alright, so... We've got to be careful with our rifle, actually. We don't have many shots left. We've got 25. Now, in theory, that's enough for all the bad guys in here. I don't think there's more than 25 of them. But there are quite a lot of them. And, you know, there's no guarantee we'll hit each one in the head, you know. So let's just be careful here. I do like this vault. 
Oh, purified water also. That's a good thing. Yeah, we are getting uh, we are getting thirsty. There's lots of purified water here. Yep, there we go. Feeling better, but still thirsty. Here we go. This is where having two crits would be really helpful. But we don't. I do have a grenade. If I can follow... If I can throw a grenade right in the middle of them, shoot the grenade. There we go. There we go. And shoot that grenade. Boom. That'll do it. <laughs> Nicely done. If you've only got one crit, just try that. But also a vault lab coat. Ooh, increases intelligence by two. That's a nice idea, actually. Okay. Well, I did actually see, quite a while ago, I think it was in Many True Nerds, one of his older videos, he actually put on a vault tech coat, because it gives you two intelligence when handed in quests, because then, the more intelligence you have, you get more XP. It's only a tiny bit, but it adds up, and it's like, that's actually a really smart idea. Alright, here we go. This is where we've got a lot of them, but we've also got lots of open space. So, that's good and bad, you know, you could argue. On one side, it's good because you can see lots of the bad guys. But it's also bad because they can see you. Alright, we'll back off now then. It really bothers me as well that when you're crouch walking, you don't have the rifle butt into your into your shoulder. You don't really look prepared for battle, you know. There's probably a mod which fixes that. You know, like immersive rifle placement or something like that. I don't know. They always call them immersive something, don't they? Like immersive toilet paper, immersive earrings, immersive butt piercings. I don't know, something along those lines. Alright, can I get you before you... Oh, hello. Oh, you moved right at the wrong time. You know what? Drop him. Get him dead. And now we're hidden again. Okay, I think that was a good decision. Didn't need to use a crit there, but hey, that's what they're for, right? Crits are for using, not for saving. Oof! Mamma mia. There's something perfect about headshots, isn't there? There's nothing better in video games, than a perfect headshot. It's brilliant. I think that's something uh, War Owl said, actually. Great YouTuber, actually. He does Counter-Strike stuff. Alright, but that's all of them. I want to say there's two more in that next room as well. I can see one for sure. I can shoot him right in the balls if I wanted to, but that wouldn't be very effective, would it? Oh, hello. Oh, well, he's seen me. Oh, he's only got a melee. Please! Kill the dude! <laughs> My god. <laughs> Two shots apparently not enough to drop a triggerman. I'm impressed. There we go. Let's uh, use an old stim back there to kill my crippled arm. I mean, that's got to be the most incredible medical invention of the world, hasn't it? The stim pack. You know, it's like you can cure a broken arm with an injection. That's pretty insane. You can be bleeding to death and then you can inject yourself with something and it like clots the blood to stop it. Really impressive stim pack. Okay, here we go. Oh, hello! Ooh! Oh, 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 look at my HP! Okay, this is a Psycho Jet and a Quantum Time. And a Water Time. Anything that will heal me right now, because I walk straight into that. Oh, no. Alright. Do I have any medics? I do have medics. Okay, this could be bad. Go. Okay, I got out of the line of fire. Oh, ho, 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 ho. once again, drugs save the day. Drugs save the day. I told you, kids, it's fantastic. I mean, they say winners don't do drugs, but, you know, they actually have specific rules in the Olympics saying you're not allowed to do drugs because it helps you win. So, <laughs> I don't know who to believe anymore. No, obviously, I'm oh, seriously, don't do drugs. I obviously mean that. Okay. So, it's amazing we got out of there. And there's always a guy down there at the bottom, isn't there? Let's wait for my health to come back a little bit. Oh, I had a little mini heart attack right there. I feel palpitations in my chest. I should probably see a doctor about that. Video games probably don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, jump on down. Yeet. Oh, we're good. I always thought there was a melee guy here. But I guess he's wandered off to pick his nose or something. Here we go, then. Here we go. So, yeah. I believe we get to uh, see Nick in the next room. It's like a little canteen area, isn't there? The main kind of canteen area of the vault. How you doing in yep, there, there he is in there. Now, it's very tempting to take a critical shot at him. But if I remember correctly, if you try to do a VAT shot on this dude's chest, you always hit that rail. So let's just... 
pop him in the back of the brain. And also, while I'm here, whilst I am here, I think we should be a little bit inventive now. Because it is true. Oh, I was going to say we should put some mines down. But I, th I don't have any. I only saw the I had. Bad guys come out of the little door down there in a few minutes. So if I put mines down now, then, you know, they'll run into those. But I don't have any. I honestly thought I had some. Oh, well, never mind. Hey, Dino. Looking a little worse for wear. No, good old Nick. Nicky, no. Right, overseer password right there. Okay. In we go. And uh, override door controls. Job done. Right, and before we forget, grab the booble head. Speech booble head. All vendors have 100 more caps for bartering. Not an amazing booble head, that one. But hey, it adds up, doesn't it? The reverse damsel in distress scenario. Oh, Question Nick. Is, why did our heroine risk life I love Nick Valentine. He's so cool. Okay, uh, I'm fine and shot. Missing. His name's... Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man. If not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Weeks he's been in here. daughter I came here to find weeks. wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. Okay, there we go. We have Nick Valentine. Hello, buddy. How's it going, my dude? Absolute stud of a man. Right, so let's get this dude out of here. Like, Nick Valentine, he's got one of the most awful backstories. But he really won the hearts of all the fans of Nick Valentine. People love Nick Valentine, and I agree. He's a fantastic character. Actually based on someone from Chicago, actually. A lot of people think that he's from, like, New York or something. But no, his original brain is of a police officer from Chicago. Alright. This is what I was referring to. Some bad guys come through here. I would really like to kill these guys, but I don't have any grenades or anything, do I? No. Okay. Well, let's just take a shot. Oof! Right in the eye again. Again, no crit saved up, so now we can go a little bit loud. Alright, there's only one more now. Alright, it took me three tries, but when I hit him, I really hit him, didn't I? Got him right in the head. My gosh. Ugh. I actually shot his head off. Hey, Nick. What do you think of this? <laughs> Okay. Uh, he's got a pencil. <gasps> My favorite. All right. Anything else on these guys? 10 mil sugar bombs. I was hoping we'd have more 45 ammo dropping from these guys, but eh, oh well. What if my deliverer is actually going to do a better job than my uh, than my sniper rifle in this case? Because I actually do have more ranks of gunslinger than rifleman currently. Anything else we can loot whilst just he's opening that door? I think these are just showers, aren't they? Yeah. There was a bit of soap. There we go. Soap would be such an important commodity in real life in this post-apocalyptic world. Yeah, that would be one of the first things which would get looted from vaults. Soap, cleaning products, medicine, stuff like that. Because one of the most important parts of, you know, being healthy is being clean. Oh, hello, babe. Oh, oh, oh. Go on, get him down. There we go, he's dead. Alright, sweet. So he's dead, and we mustn't forget, there is a magazine over here, isn't there? Let's grab this one now. Standardly Awesome Tales. Gain five action points. That's it. Just five action points. Brilliant, right? You know, not, not doing anything. Not five action points if you're rubbing your belly and tickling your cat. No, 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 no. Just five action points. Fantastic stuff. Getting all stealthy now. Now, we can't open this door. And it opens up this dude's cover. You know, we flanked him. Okay, in that case, the sniper rifle definitely would have been better. But here we go. So we've leveled up. Let's put this straight into either Rifleman or Ninja. We can get Ninja, but I think Rifleman for now. Because I don't think we get another rank of Rifleman until... Oh no, we do get it at 18. Yeah, we're doing really good overall. But even so, Rifleman. We're using rifles an awful lot. So let's go with this for now. Oh, hello. Bad time to reload. So yeah, that's doing much more damage now. Yeah, that's doing half his health. When before, it was just doing just a tiny bit. That'll be the extra added armor penetration that that perk gives you. 50% armor penetration. Hey, ne maybe next time we rank up, we might even go for Rifleman again. You know? <laughs> Ow! You gimp! 
There we go. <laughs> just came and just bashed me right in the brain hole. Right, let's grab the whiskey and stuff like that. That's good. Uh, even if we don't actually use it. Oh, also, it says I'm ill. Am I ill with something? Or am I tired or something like that, I wonder. Oh, I'm fatigued. I require more sleep. Oh, okay, that's not ideal. Uh, let's grab myself a Nuka-Cola. Oh, I've only got Quantum. Okay, we'll just roll with it then. If we grab a Nuka-Cola Quantum, or just any Nuka-Cola for that matter, it will actually slow down the rate which your tiredness affects. It won't reverse it, you know, it won't make you awake. But it will slow down your fatigue and stuff, so that's real good. Because if you're overtired, you lose... Ooh! You lose, like, three endurance or something. It's really nasty. So what's he got then? A bloodied sledgehammer! Oh, you know what? I think the game is telling us something. I think the game is telling us <laughs> to swap over to a melee character. <laughs> I mean, honestly, though, in all fairness, if you actually get a lot of the perks which we are aiming for, i.e., you know, the uh, critical banker, the ninja, and stuff like that, all you really need after that to make a brilliant melee character is Blitz. And then, you know, you've got an insanely good melee character. We generally could do a bloodied melee character in, in Fallout 4. Oh, man, that's fun. I mean, I kind of want to get a full set of Unyielding and see what that's like in Fallout 4. I've never tried it, but I know it's bananas if you have full endurance in Fallout 4. And now we've got a bloodied sledgehammer. That's hilarious. That's genuinely hilarious. How much extra damage does it do? Does it say on it? Just does more damage for lower your health is. Okay. We'll genuinely look into that at some point. Maybe not for a while, though. It genuinely might be a while. Oh, now. I don't think I visited Mama Murphy to get the kill phrase for um this situation. I don't think I did. Okay, so this might be a situation where I fail the speech check. And then I've got to quickly take some psycho jet in order to stay alive. But tell you what. Let's preemptively drink a quantum. Just in case this goes wrong... Because if it goes wrong, I've already got health topping me up, so to speak. Will it last long enough? It won't, I don't think. Okay, well, I'll be opening the pit boy instantly anyway, won't I? Yeah, I don't remember if I went to Mama Murphy to get the, um, Lily June on the rocks or whatever. That phrase to say to... To say to old Mr. Malone here. Let's find out. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys... You have any idea how much this is going to set oh, me back? Skinny Malone. I Not Skinny, ironically. If it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Yeah, Should've darling, you really should do that. <laughs> this ain't the She's old just thing. gone psycho. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that oh, I finally got a good off. thing going. I told you Wish you should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, always? Yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Okay, so... Ah, remember the quarry. So I do have the line. Okay, brilliant. Wait. Skinny. I honestly thought remember I didn't have the it. Remember the quarry. Lily June on the rocks. Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> you two can go. You got I don't, until the um, count of ten. Then I don't, I don't know what if you, you can doing, find Skinny? out what Kill that him. means. No, dollar. They get one chance to leave. Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You mobsters are all just talk. Well, maybe she just go home then, Darla. There we go. All right, but yeah, you genuinely need to leave. You know, do not do not wait around. If you wait for over 10 seconds, they do kill you. Then, you know, they do do what they say. So, yeah, take this blessing and get out. Although, Darla, you were real horrible. <laughs> I mean, Nick Valentine's not getting paid now, but hey, she deserved it. Oh, I thought she had like a legendary weapon or something. Uh, there we go. He's shooting now. He's shooting Nick. <laughs> because we took longer than 10 seconds. Alright, let's get out of here. Ah, yeah, excellent. Crawling our way out of a sewer like a load of sewer rats. Come on, Nick. There he is. That Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally I mean, If he's been in that vault for so weeks, inviting. 
It would be Thanks so nice to get out. outside again. <laughs> How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Uh, Ellie told Your secretary, me. I'm just going to tell the truth. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. That's I true. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll, I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Great stuff. All right, we did it. We rescued Nick Valentine. Oh, it's taken a long time to, for us to do that, hasn't it? A very long time. Okay. <laughs> Let's get back to Hangman's Alley. And then we can save the game. Oh, I'm really happy we finally got that done. Weeks we've been saying we're going to rescue Nick Valentine. Oh, we've got Raiders right next to us as well. Uh, weeks we've been saying we'll go rescue Nick Valentine, but we always delayed it in order to get ready, you know? But we've done it now. Oh, there he is. Raider Psycho. Pop you in the brain hole. Yeet. Right in the chin. And then get out of here. There's a bunch of dogs on this route, if I remember. Back to Hangman's Alley as well. Any other armor? I've got a feeling I'm forgetting some armor. Yeah, I'm missing a leg, aren't I? Jewel is right leg. There we go. I need to rename them, like, one, two, three, four, five. Just so I actually... Hello. Just so I actually remember to put them on. Oh, he's legendary. Nice. Starting to get a couple legendaries now, aren't we? Mutant Slayer's right arm. What's on my arm currently? My right arm. Just pocketed metal. I mean, we might as well, then. We might as well. We can even take off the pocketed mod and put it onto that one. Not bad. Here we go. Back in Hangman's Alley. Fantastic to be back, isn't it? Right, let's offload all of our junk. We need to go and throw all of that in there. And... Oh, we also need to put that plasma fused submachine gun in there. That is good fun. But yeah, a bloody sledgehammer and an unyielding chest piece. Oh, I do think the game is trying to tell me something. I mean, I think for now, I will wear the Wastelander chest piece still. Because it gives me agility and perception always. Whereas this is only when I'm under 25%. It gives me the extra specials. And it weighs just... Actually, now I think about it. This is probably less, isn't it? It is less. Okay, fancy that. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll stick with the Wastelander chest piece for now. But besides that, I think we should start to look into modding our armor. Oh, we can't do it here. We don't have a bench, do we? We'll have to do that in the next video then. So, everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. This has been really good fun, actually. You know, we finally rescued Nick Valentine. It took us long enough, right? It took us a real long time. But now we've done it, I feel like a... a a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders because we needed to do that for so long. And it's also a very important part of the key story, isn't it? You know, but now that that's done, we can go and do Fort Hagen very, very soon. We might not be able to do that next video. You know, we can go do the one for Pam and then we can go to Fort Hagen and stuff and take out Kellogg and things, get the Brotherhood in the game. And that'll be a big win for us. So everyone, thank you very, very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like and subscribe. Remember to tune in every Wednesday for Fallout 4 Vanilla Survival. And remember to check out the channel every Sunday for Fallout 76 Permadeath. We had episode one the other day and everyone loved it. And I'm sure you guys will enjoy it as well. So everyone, thank you very much for watching. I've been the final render and you've been the audience. Until next time, farewell. Bye-bye, gang. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you to all of our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. Special thank you to our Level 3 YouTube members, which currently consists of Psycho Girl, Katrina McKenna, and Raven's Roost.